Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Northgard. You know, if I'm being honest, uh, military is definitely my weakest playstyle. And uh, not just in this, pretty much in every strategy game. I really like to focus on the numbers and the, like, the efficiency and the spreadsheeting. And running around killing people just feels like a terrible waste of time that could be put to use making our farming patterns more efficient. So, this uh, two, two military runs in a row thing definitely is not showing off my strongest suits, uh, but we're going to try to make this work. So we have, hold on, I gotta like reorient myself, this is always a pain. Uh, we have a lot of resources coming in, I, we gotta kill these kobolds, right? We gotta kill these kobolds if we're gonna make it to yellow. Uh, the individual kobolds are not very tough, but we are gonna have to put together a slightly more, oh that's right, we want her to stay right here for the moment, because she's generating, um, She's generating food and happiness for us right now. Yeah, we're going to have to put together something more of a military. And I guess this is the moment to do it. So, six warband size. I mean, we definitely need some normal warriors. Uh, we have a skirmisher building. We have an axe thrower building. Like, let's get a couple of axe throwers, I suppose. Unfortunately, there's not, as far as I know, a really easy way to grab a limited number of a, uh, of a type of person. Like, if you right-click on a unit class down here, it selects all of them. But I don't want to run as many people as I can over to become axe throwers. I want to make sure we're controlling this. Alright, at this point, I think it's probably sensible to pick up guerrilla tactics. It's not as stacked as it could be, but we're about to start really fighting the enemies. I suppose... Oh no, this says mystical creatures, not neutrals. Probably the kobolds don't count. I don't know, even if the kobolds do count, we're going to need to also be better at fighting players. So let's grab that. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get even one more axe thrower. I don't think we're going to make another skirmisher. I think we'll do three and three warriors and axe throwers. Just trying to make sure we have enough of a... Uh, Enough of a frontal force here. And we do need to build a silo, and it should definitely be built in a place where we are producing food. It should probably be built by the fish. Um, I think that makes the most sense. But that territory is also in some danger. I think it's okay to build it here. Alright. Let's go murder. And also, I noticed that we are not running to rally automatically. That's got to get fixed. Uh, and then we also should probably do these upgrades. Now, let's not worry about it right now. For right now, let's just murder kobolds. Kobolds go down really quickly. But that doesn't mean that we can totally fall asleep at the wheel here. Because I really don't want to lose people. Alright, that should be the last one who's in danger. Oh, and we are immediately under attack. Wait, oh, it was, it was more kobolds spawning. There are more kobolds running in from other tiles. Nope, not you. Okay, we are going to need healers. Make sure that our people are getting taken care of here. Are we not going to unclaim this tile? Oh no. Okay, we have pushed them off of it. Colonize, and of course the uh, treacherous blue people have taken this opportunity to, uh, to have at us. Here, unfortunately, we probably do have to just commit... Come on, finish off, finish off the weakened guy, throw some axes. Ah. Okay. Well, the good news is... We managed to take over a thing. The bad news is we did lose some people. Let somebody get over here and build this. Yeah, Blue's, Blue's making a real nuisance of himself. You know what? Actually... This war chief is by himself in a place where the tower's not actually constructed yet. Oh, hold on. We're having problems because the the cliff. If we can get in here, 
I really want Signy to be the one who initiates. Damn it. Of course, it took just long enough for the tower to get completed. That's really annoying. Uh, is our healer hut upgraded? It's not. Let's go ahead and do that, because now we have all these injured people to take care of and also the sick people. Do we have another source of iron? I want to get our military unit's weapons upgraded. We do, in fact, have a place where we could mine some more iron. Boy, they built that really quickly, didn't they? Doesn't it feel like that? Alright, you know what we're gonna do over here. Let's try to snipe ourselves a couple of civilians really quickly and then get out of here. Alright, and then we're gone. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> That's 4% more attack power. Alright, the iron mine is complete. We are actually having a just a terrible time here. Uh, you need to get back to a place where you can get food. Yeah, this is a problem. We need, to, uh, we need to get our food situation under control. I probably have to dismiss most of the warband, actually. As much as I hate to do that at this moment, I think uh, we gotta get back on normal food generation just for a little bit until, until the winter falls, at the very least. Did we grab fur coats already? Okay, cool. And we have plenty of money, so we can uh, we can get back to having an army after the winter's over. A single dragger has come to slay. Oh, interesting. The kobolds got totally overrun. Now, the kobolds didn't get totally overrun. There are kobolds coexisting in this space with the enemies. That's not how that's supposed to be. We could probably pick off another smith over here. As soon as the winter starts, we'll uh, we'll assign some people to do some mining. But for the moment, I think it's pretty important that we uh, we get all this food in place. We're building up a reasonable stockpile. And also, they keep they keep letting me murder their civilians, which is just great. Okay, we have plenty of wood for the stockpile. We're probably going to have to buy food at that rate. I think I do still want to do this. We might want to hold off on pulling too many more people off of uh, off of stuff, though. Actually, what we could do is pull a couple of people off of money making. Is our trade route still running? Yes, we're currently trading wood with blue, which I'm 100% fine with. Alright, so we're going to get some iron. This might be a good time to pick up our secondary uh, military path. Since we're pushing toward the top of uh, the top of the one we're working on now. But we're going to have to have an actual army to take on this number of Draugr. Like, we're going to have to re, uh, rebuild our military a little bit. Are my healers... Like, are you guys working? Because I, I noticed there are still people who are very low on health. Okay, it's just one guy. One very irresponsible guy. Well, I mean, you know what you know what we must do here. You are not allowed to whatever it is that you're working on in that forge, you're not allowed to have it. And we could stick around and kill that skirmisher, I guess. Maybe we should. Okay, I don't need to fight their war chief. That that's not gonna help me that much. I mean, we're stacking that bonus up. We are definitely, without question, going to have to purchase more food. It's not great. It is really cutting into my army fund. I guess I'd have somebody come over here and repair this now while it's still, uh, while it's still winter. 
and the loss of the food gatherer is not quite as significant. I really do feel like we've had a we've had a, a real bad go of it food wise. Taking this tile over would be very helpful. But I really don't want to pull. We're we're borderline too many people off of food already. Are right, you two going? Go and do that. Yeah, not ideal. Like, very far from ideal. What is it going to take to make that relic? That's actually totally doable. Let's just go ahead and commit that. Oh, and we're just a little bit short of being able to buy the food. Well, we definitely don't want to be starving for very long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this button. Maybe we could just. I'm just gonna wait it out. I know that's not ideal, but we'll be, we'll be positive again as soon as winter ends. Yeah, we're not starving for that long. It takes a little while for it to have a real effect on you. Okay. So if we take this tile, we will also have actual land adjacent to yellow, and so we'll be getting the uh, the pressure bonus for yellow as well. 16% guerrilla tactics is pretty great. I don't know what we're going to take next. To be perfectly honest, it might just be defensive strategy. In fact, it probably is defensive strategy, because we're going to have to be ready to deal with blue. Alright, miners, go forth and... Gather food. Boy, that's just going to take forever, huh? Well, not much we can do about it. We can't upgrade the building. You know, what we can do is build a mine over here. At least get a little bit more silver going. Ooh, uh, Baldur's Blessing. I think it's happiness, probably, for right now. And then we're definitely... We should keep at least one healer on staff, even when idle. Alright, feels like we could probably pull some woodcutters for the moment. Uh, let's, in this zone, grab both of the woodcutters and have them become axe throwers. And then we can grab... You get to work. Let's grab a couple of people to become warriors, because we need somebody to stand in front and tank. You know what? It's easy enough to just pull people over to the healer building. As long as we keep some villagers in this tile. We don't probably need to maintain a large standing supply of them. Okay, and I guess that's all the warband we get to have for right now, because it's not free to maintain a warband. We do need to queue up um, some warband improvements. Like, I definitely want to grab this, but I guess it's <laughs> it's going to have to wait for a second. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess just run through. So, like, this is going to be a really tricky one. The kobolds are easy kills, but this is enough Draugr to actually be pretty dangerous. Signe, would you please... Nope, hold on. I really want you to finish off that guy. There we go. Yeah, that's enough Drago that I'm actually really annoyed by it. So... Let's have our one healer heal this guy up. And then we'll have one more person become a warrior to replace the one that we just lost due to me not clicking fast enough. Actually... Uh, the one we lost was an axe thrower. I need to, like, position my troops a little bit better before we run across. I actually do want Signy to tank a significant amount of it, I think. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just go over here and grab these smiths real quick first. Easy enough. 
They're keeping their Warchief near our front, which does make me a little nervous. Oh, Red's coming over to clear that tile. That's not great. All right, let's just do this real quick while, while things are... Well, the conditions are ripe for it. Alright. We're gonna hit the maximum level of that bonus pretty soon. Ooh, this is beautiful. Let's get over here. Yellow and red fighting. Whoever loses, we win. Right, we were able to sneak up and murder Yellow's War Chief for free, which is absolutely huge. Alright, then we decolonize this, and uh, I really appreciate them doing all the hard work for me there. It's a shame we don't have enough money to rush purchase a, uh, a bit of food to make sure that we'd actually be able to take this over. I, I don't know that we're going to be able to afford to colonize this. I mean, I guess we're gathering food pretty quickly. We are definitely in a place where I would much rather be stockpiling food for winter, though. Here, I'm gonna have Signy step back across. We can we can be getting heals while we're still decolonizing. I don't believe it matters how many units you have in a tile. Um, in regards to its colonization speed, I think it's always the same. As long as you have at least one unit in the tile. Alright, let's see how bad it is. Oh, 330. That's not that bad at all. And that will give us another place where we can build a fishery, which is actually pretty valuable. Okay, we need to make some uh, we need to make some moves pretty quickly here. This is a bizarre strategy from Red, just like constantly trickling units in. <laughs> One or two dudes per uh, per ten seconds. You know, we should probably run across the border and murder this undefended civilian real quick. As long as Red considers us to be at war, we should we should decolonize this territory. And once again, we'll just step a couple of injured people back across. We're pretty close to capping that bone. Eh, no, we're not. I mean, we're working on it, but we're not close yet. We're not going to take this over, obviously, but we are going to take it away from Red. They will at the very least have to repay their colonization cost, which is fine for us. It slows them down a little bit. Blue is no longer my chief concern. You can see red is uh, red is higher on fame than blue is, so even if blue's going for a fame victory, they're not necessarily doing a great job of it. Okay. Let's get back over here. I suppose that really we should keep a unit in here. I, here's the thing. I think Red's going to take this again, so I'm not too stressed about it. But um, if Red doesn't take this again, then we really want to have a unit here so that we're exerting pressure for our, uh, our, our thing. Wait, hold on. There is a villager in this tile already. You should be working on fish. This is a bad time for a blizzard, frankly. How much is it to buy stone? Five stone for two hundred. I'd really love to upgrade the um, the fisherman's hut over here. I'm very worried about this blizzard. Well, not much for it, unfortunately. We're definitely gonna have to have you guys become woodcutters again. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to go into full-on resource production mode in order to have any chance of surviving here. And in fact, we're definitely going to want to buy food. It's a pretty short winter overall, and the blizzard doesn't start until a month into it. Maybe it's not going to be so bad, but it's going to be bad. I don't think we can afford to do any upgrades right now. I think we really gotta, like, 
get focused here. In fact, uh, you guys go become woodcutters. Let's place our new relic. Sorry, that's not where that menu is. Uh, it doesn't matter where we put this. Oh, it does count as a building, so it matters in that sense. Uh, it can just go right here, that's fine. Oh, we gotta we have to make the choice right now. Okay. Uh Defense Tower adds plus one to your warband. Units around the defense tower get stats, converts all area civilians in an area. I think we want this, actually. Yeah, let's take tactician. Okay, so it just immediately gave us tier one uh Oh! Our progress is shared. Okay, that's actually... that's huge. Uh, we should press the... Do we have to... There's no military camp in this area, so I can't... Okay, so she has to be standing in a place where there is a, a military building in order to make the uh, bodyguard appear, I guess? Oh, because I guess the bodyguard is probably... Oh, hold on. Not a good time. The bodyguard is probably typed according to... Wow, that, uh, that civilian just completely ignored my orders. It's kind of incredible how much damage they're dealing. Okay, that was not good. Alright, well, let's go get a free, uh, a free bodyguard here. I think we're gonna take a warrior. Okay, how are we doing? Not well. Alright, let's buy some food. Oh boy, are we even gonna make it? Who else could be... Who else should be reassigned? We don't have anybody... sailing right now, because we haven't had anybody sailing for a while, but frankly, we haven't needed the resources from sailing as badly as we've needed food, so that's probably okay. We're just gonna run out of everything. Yeah, that sucks a lot, but there's... I don't think anything that we can actually do about it. Kobolds were defeated by Odun. Uh, actually, that's too many military units. We can't go in there. I was going to run over here and fight him while he was weak from his conquest, but... That's three units and the war chief, which is actually a thing that I don't know that we for sure would beat. And if we did beat them, it wouldn't be... Uh, it would be expensive. You know, it looks like our our bodyguard... Yeah, maybe the bodyguard is not typed. It, you just have to be in any tile that has a uh, has a thing. What is your deal? Oh, you're a miner and you have run out of mine. Well, let's have you go help gather food, I guess? <laughs> We're going to need to rebuild the stockpile pretty quickly here. Alright, the winter's about to end. Everything's going to be okay. Sort of. Everything's maybe going to be okay if we can just... Ooh, alright. All that negative happiness should wear off pretty quickly here. Oh, 30 people are sick. <laughs> That's what happens when you're out of food for a long time. Well, let's get to healing. We're going to need maximum healing speed. Hmm... Should we run in here and try to kill these people? Our soldiers are too sickly. We really can't do that. Yeah, unfortunately, running out of everything during that winter uh, totally killed us. So we're going to not be doing anything at all for a little while. Here, we can start trading wood to Ivar again. That's not a big deal. A couple of people go out and get resources. Yeah, that's pretty bad, man. We gotta, um... <laughs> we gotta hang back. It looks like the AI managed to, uh, managed to survive the winter just fine. It is probably the case that we have... We have nine tiles. 
I'm wondering if it's the case that we've taken enough land that the other players cannot comfortably win a fame victory. At least not without attacking each other. What is that? What does that sound? They're blowing their horn. What does that horn do? Is that horn one that we had access to? I don't think it is. It doesn't sound familiar. Nope. That is a clan... Clan specific thing. Oh, it's the thing that generates the wolves. Sure. The thing with which they're going to attack me. What I want to do is steer my people away from... Yeah, I want to steer my people away from direct conflict here. We want to let the war chief do most of the fighting on this one. Alright, we're going to lose the tower, but I think we should be able to kill their war chief. Wow, he hit her for, like, 20% of her health in a single attack. Okay, that was way more costly for them than it was for us. Oh, geez. I don't even know what we want here. Uh, I guess we don't need Monster Slayer. I guess let's start picking up economic tech. I mean, it's not, like, terribly vital to us, but I don't have anything else of import to grab. Okay, we're actually happy again. Well, people coming in, we're building up our uh, our income again. It's like red just took a thing off blue. Ooh, red took off of blue the thing where the relic was. That's got to be frustrating for them. That's probably what blue smiths were working on so hard. I mean, they're still working on something. I'm reasonably sure that blue's not going to be in a position to defend them. Uh, anytime soon, so I think I'm going to go uh, help myself to a couple of smiths. And in fact, their warriors are running somewhere else. It really doesn't feel like we're in much of a position to make a big military move, though, does it? Hold on, I'm going to let this tile clear out a little bit more. Just saying, we're in like a small amount of danger here. We do definitely want to pick up these civilians. All right, good work. Good work, everybody. Oh, hey, this tower is damaged. That shouldn't be the case. Somebody somebody go fix that. And our healers are still working like mega overtime. Almost everybody in the entire uh, nation is terribly ill. Well, I do need to rebuild my warband a little bit. We've got a supply of food again. I mean, this is, you know, this is helpful. Everybody who's wounded is is underproducing, though. We can't really... I could build another healer's hut, I guess, but we can't really accelerate this anymore. I'm thinking we probably need to, uh... We need to have a couple of people become axe throwers again, but it would be cool if they could be healthy people. Maybe you and... You... Gonna be ready for this uh, this fallen sailor thing that's about to happen. So red just hit 859 fame. Yellow just hit 800. Blue is actually doing terribly. It probably has something to do with all of our sniping of their people, which means we need to start we need to start putting the boot down on the others. We're actually probably from this wave gonna get our. Uh, our veteran fighters and our war cry. They're gonna spawn any moment now. We will have a couple moments of uh, of time to react while they sort of float in, ghostily. How to? What is the word for the way that a ghost does a thing? Spectrally, I suppose. All right. Hopefully, it's just the one tile. All right, our military units seem to have caught all their attention, which is good because the military units will not die instantly when they're looked at. Oh, 
Okay, hey, we did that without losing anybody. I'll get back up here. Looks like Red's massing up for some trouble. Or, okay. Red and Blue are having at each other a little bit. You know, if Blue didn't have this tile, we'd be able to uh, contribute to the mayhem over here. Let's try to stay close. This tile's great, actually, because we can keep military units here and be, be benefiting from pressure on all three other players. Uh, we should probably... Here, I'm going to hit stop raid now. So when they next time they come back, they'll... Uh, They'll halt, and then we'll get a notification that there are people idle. Feast at 340. We probably shouldn't try it. Yeah, I don't think we have enough time for that. But we have we've built up some supplies. We are ready for the winter at least. We really, really need stone. We just don't have any way of getting stone anymore. I really wish Blue would attack here, because I would love it if Blue attacked here so that we could attack here. Like, let Red's army show up over here and then we run in here and bust things up. Alright, 22 seconds left on getting a new free military unit. <laughs> there are still so many people injured. Right, you guys get back in here and just gather food, for the moment at least. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I have uh, I have lost the battle to the uh, to the environment pretty mightily here. I'm gonna queue both of those up and as soon as winter starts, we'll run over two villagers. We might have been able to get away with a feast. I don't know. Probably not. It probably would not have been safe to do so. After this winter ends, we're probably gonna just, like, have to make the move. It sucks, because we're really, like, we're still not recovered from the blizzard. But we're also running out of time rapidly, if you look at the fame counts on the other players. I think I just have let this one get away from me. Red is... Red is gonna have to get stopped. Okay, minus 20, minus 17, I th think we should be okay. So when winter ends, we... Oh, hey, we're near our housing cap. That's wild. I haven't had to think about that in a little bit. And we do have we do have quite a population, I'll say that. Yeah, as we get closer to the end of winter here, you know what? There are... Uh... Oh, hold on, let me... Let me back off and grab my bodyguard, and since apparently it doesn't matter what tile we're standing in, for the purposes of this, we'll just go to the place that is closest, as soon as I can click the button. I know yellow is not our primary problem, but yellow sure does have some civilians standing in kind of... kind of undefended places. We might want to make a, make a move just to gather ourselves some more bonus. I think we could probably afford to pull some villagers now. I'm just thinking, like... We can we can fight pretty effectively during the winter. I don't know if that's true for everybody. So yellow is running people back and forth. Let's have Signy be in front. Yeah, let's try to grab a couple of civilians here. We can still stack this higher. Oh my god, their army is either non-existent or incredibly slow to respond. This is beautiful. Alright, get back on our side. <laughs> yep, and here they come. Okay, that worked pretty well. We're very close to the cap on this now. And they're running another unit into the tile, so I mean, you know what we must do.
Okay. Easy enough. So now we have a pretty significant military strength bonus. Oh. Looks like they didn't bother to bring a war chief this time. I mean, I say didn't bother. Their war chief is actually just running past right here. I'm not sure what his plan is. Oh no, they have a war chief. Wait a minute. What did I just see? Okay, whatever. Never mind, it doesn't matter. This is the place where we have the upgraded tower. You can see the difference that that makes there. Okay, apparently it takes forever to forge these military upgrades. And we're really... Uh, we're not that positive on food. But unfortunately, the fact is we just we need some military units, so if we could maybe get on that a little bit. I'm going to need... We haven't built a shield bearers camp, have we? I don't think so. It might be really nice to have a shield bearers camp. It's the one military building we don't have. We'll build it a little closer to the front. I'm just thinking we could really use a shield bearer or two for the purposes of uh, pushing these places that have towers. Why are we... Oh, we're unhappy probably partially because we have so many wounded. Oh, it's not even that bad, really. Oh, well, part of the reason we're unhappy is because we're currently not getting any happiness from under pressure. So let's, uh, let's exert pressure again. I gotta remember to keep that going. And then we gotta, we gotta run up on red a little bit. We did hesitate long enough for them to have veteran fighters. Blue, do not do this. Do not attack me. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. It's us or, it's us or red, and it's pretty soon, I think. I need a villager with full health. And one of you guys... Come and... Grab that, okay. Let's have our civilians get out of the way for a moment here. Okay, let all the enemies commit nice and hard on the building, and then we can run in and uh, lighten the load for them. Alright, I mean, that actually got a lot closer to the destruction of that building than I wanted. We don't have a ton of spare wood. Blue is being a real problem. I think my warband is probably sufficient to take this. I don't know, with with all those guys hacking at us, like we're gonna have to fight under the tower for a while. We're working hard on these upgrades. What we really need is for these smiths to um, go back to some other kind of work, right? Oh, never mind. This is this is our moment right here. Blue is distracted because red is murdering him. There we go. This'll this will help a little bit. We can actually just push blue back. Uh, you run back across the border. Really? This is what you think? This is how you want to spend your remaining units. God, look at the damage output. We are tearing that Warchief apart. I think blue is... Blue is maybe making things actually kind of bad for us right now. Because he's weakening himself so much, I'm afraid that red's going to be able to run in and just take over. The warrior's weapons have been improved. We need our smiths to go and chop wood, I think. Okay, and we have decolonized this area. The thing is, we can't actually just leave it decolonized without taking out some of Red's stuff, too. So we're, we're putting ourselves in too much, too much danger of an expansion from Red. 
Okay, never mind. We gotta bounce. Red is too well armed. Uh, boy, I don't even know. It doesn't much matter at this point. You know what we need is medicine. That's what we're headed toward. Okay, we're building up lumber at a reasonable rate again, which is important because we need um, we need wood for the earthquake that's about to hit us. Is there a unit that I could still... I could still upgrade woodcutters. Honestly, it's probably worth doing. I think at this point, we can move these guys back to here. That'll probably be the last time we ever use this thing. It has, it has done alright by us. Yeah, it would have been really nice to be able to push red out of a, out of a tile. You know what? I could have feared. I forgot to hit fear. Also, I haven't used Scorched Earth at all, but we could totally be Scorching the Earth. We probably should have. Alright, hold on. Before we do anything crazy, let's just take a moment here and repair everything as soon as everything breaks. I think I, I am going to feast as soon as, uh, as soon as we hit the level. We should be able to... This should be long enough to build up another stockpile before winter. Oh, also, we should probably... Well, as soon as we have the feast finished, we should probably get sailors back out. Okay. Uh, pair this. That's actually, like, tremendously important. Pair that. What an inconvenient time for that to break. And I suppose somebody ought to fix this. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all, actually. Yeah, we need that, uh, we need that. Oh, this is annoying. We probably should... We should not allow Red to keep this tile. I think we're just gonna have to fight him. Somebody's gotta be the hero. There we go, that fear's actually pretty good. Okay, and this gives blue a little bit of time to push back on red. We still have to keep an eye on yellow as well. <laughs> like, we're juggling a lot of balls here. And we are not making very much progress on actually winning the game, but I am I'm making okay progress on not immediately losing the game, which is also important. Remember, it doesn't matter how much fame red has if he doesn't have the tiles. This is beautiful, by the way. We should definitely run in here and break things. Am I not allowed to... Oh, I'm not allowed to run in because it's not the edge of Red's territory as far as we're concerned. Like, I can't run through this tile that they own. Alright. Let's go. I don't know why that skirmisher thought that was a good idea. Okay, so we have some drugger portals. Fortunately, they're all in pretty convenient places. Do you need to get on that? What's going on here? Oh, yellow's attacking. Okay, yellow... <laughs> yellow is not really prepared for, like, a war. Not on top of it. Okay, we've got a decent amount of food built up here. Drugger are going to spawn, spawn during the winter, which is fine, I think. I don't think that bothers us. How are we doing here? Oh my god, we're almost done healing people. I feel like those, uh, those healers have been working really hard for a really long time. Alright, Red's going to try to reclaim this tile, and we should probably not allow that. And we can let them retake it, we just have to not let them fortify it. It's going to be a little inconvenient, though, with the with the, the undead spawning. Like, I really don't want our 
our forces to be all torn up right as that happens. Uh, we probably have to do something about... Yeah, we could pull some healers to go in and chop wood. We definitely gotta do something about the amount of wood cutting that is happening right now. Oh, you know what? One of you should probably transition over to here. I didn't realize we were not full on woodcutters in this tile. In the tile where it's where the wood cutting is actually efficient. Right, we're gonna have to purchase wood. In fact, we're gonna have to stop trading wood. You know what, maybe we just cancel the trade route for the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think we're probably just not gonna attack. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to, well, look at this. Look at this opportunity they've given us, though. Blue guy, don't run over here. Go fight the red dudes. What's wrong with you? Why don't you want to live? Oh, I think we're... Hold on. We're being counter-pushed. We should probably get over here. Alright, they changed their minds. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's be here when the thing happens. Uh, over here on the other side, the tower will take care of this. We're just going to have to keep an eye on our fishermen. Also, we are short of fishermen. Too many balls. I'm juggling too many things. I'm losing track of everything. This should be pretty straightforward. I just gotta make sure we pull people if they're getting killed. Okay, it's not too bad. And actually, over here, we're fine. Let's just have a couple of people get on healing real quick. Get me back to full as, as fast as possible. I don't know what these skirmishers are thinking. Really, the AI is like very comfortable just throwing their dudes away over nothing. Let's let our people get healed. All we really have to do here is prevent them from building a tower. We can pretty much trivially take it at any time as long as there's no tower on it. I probably didn't need to do that. We were only going to be starving for a moment. Okay, we've made it to yet another new year. Ah, Blue's got it under control for me. Uh, Yellow is making rapid victory progress. Okay, we're going to have to do the thing that we were originally planning on doing. I'm also going to need some more bodies on the military thing. Let's get another axe thrower... We can probably pull a couple of war chiefs here. Or uh, war chiefs. Woodcutters to become warriors. Never mind. Don't have enough money. Oh, part of the problem is I'm not trading wood anymore. Let's trade wood with blue. I don't know that it much matters who we trade it with. Everybody hates us already. <laughs> and it's not going to get better. That, I believe, is... Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, I think that's the calling of the wolves. Blue does have control of the horn already. Oh, it was the calling of the wolves. It just, it's a lot of stuff happening all at once. Hack up their units quickly. Oh, they're going to get my improved tower. Oh, maybe not. Get over here and repair immediately. Blue, I do not have time for your nonsense. I'm, like, very busy. We got to go and uh, stop the raids for the moment. So I have to replace the lost warrior, because that guy died immediately. And then we probably ought to get another... I can't afford to get another military unit going right now. Okay. Oh, and here's all of Yellow's units, and is Blue seriously... Right now, right this second. It's trying to prevent me from getting the, uh, the tower repaired. 
I don't know if he's aware that we don't have any stone, but it would be pretty bad if this tower fell because uh, we would never be able to build another. We can never make an upgraded tower again. And I did lose a unit defending that. Alright, let's try this one more time. There's no way blue has any units left. Right, like, blue's, blue's lost so many people over the last little while. There's no way that they have anything left to fight us with. He's probably just really annoyed about all the black market nonsense. Okay. Units are almost all together. I'm going to step over here and try to make it look too yellow like I'm not going to fight him over here. It sure seems like he's figured it out, huh? Alright, so we don't have to take that many total tiles to uh, to get to his home base. Looks like he was just fighting red, maybe. Which is probably good for us. Those are the healers. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll need them presently. This is this right here. This is the situation where we're gonna need our uh, our fire. And unfortunately, to the way that things are cliffed, we can't attack uh, yellow any other way. We have to go through this tile, and we we just can't do it with his whole army right there. We just can't do it. His whole army and an upgraded tower. So we need to wait until he is distracted. Yeah, like that. That'll do. We could... No, we cannot. We cannot, in fact, make another uh, military unit. Okay, so we need our shield bearer to just uh, enter the tile first is all. Yep, don't fight all the randos. I think we can not use Scorched Earth on this tile. We can save it for the next one. Okay. Really good work, everybody. The healthy shield bearer needs to lead the charge on the next one. Oh, we can't we can't enter that tile until this one is taken over. And we have unhappy people because now our uh, our bonus is all screwed up. Not really ideal. How dare you? How dare you fear me? Counter fear. Alright, yellow is probably doomed now. That was a lot of units they just lost, including their war chief, who they will not be able to put back together anytime soon. And if we can knock them out, I I don't know. If we can knock them out, I don't know where it goes from there. Kraken's still prowling around the seas, which is annoying. I mean, we could start taking territory. Ooh, that's a brewery right there. Can I afford this? Yeah. Make this mine. Boy, that bleed effect that they put on you, it uh, stays for a while, huh? Alright, somebody get over here and repair this. Uh, we're gonna need another shield bearer. Oh, also, gotta replace the fisherman, I remember. I remember that we lost a fisherman. Eventually I remembered. <laughs> okay, so we can put some people on this brewery and that can solve our unhappiness problem. I'm not too concerned about our uh, population growth at this point. I really just need to uh, make sure that we are doing things as effectively as possible. Not being unhappy is a big part of that. Also, we probably need to refocus our resources a little bit. Well, the Kraken's just never going away, huh? A longship dock is going to end up being completely useless. Okay. Healing, we're healing, we're healing. And we don't have all day here. We do have to attack. Alright, let's just go for it. I'll knock this thing out quickly. Okay. So I'm going to save the Scorched Earth for... Um, 
My plan is to save the Scorched Earth for the core tile, then. Alright, we're chopping up civilians pretty quickly. I mean, no big surprise there. Turns out civilians, not that great at combat. So you and you can fall back for the moment. We're not going to be taking this tile over. Even if we had the food, we got to save up for winter a little bit. So they don't have any real defenses left. They don't even have a tower in there. Oh. We may not have to spend Scorched Earth. This is a bad time for this. I mean, I'm sure they know, and that's why they're doing it. Kill the axe thrower, kill the people who are doing the damage. Okay, we have a pretty advantageous situation here where Red is attacking us in an area that we don't have to run very far uh, out of our way to defend. Medicine, faster healing, also Freya's blessing. I guess that's a nice thing to have, right, as it's about to be winter again. You stay back and heal. We gotta start decolonizing this all over again, which is annoying. But the good news is, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to knock Yellow out of the game just a, just moments before they win. <laughs> At least I sure hope so. Also, all of the people in this fisherman's hut got killed during the uh, during the fighting, which is annoying. All right, your turn to rotate out. As soon as this is down, we can move into this tile, and we absolutely will. Yeah, I'm a little surprised they never built a tower in their uh, in their home tile, especially once we started making our moves. <laughs> oh no, we we soured our relations with Yellow. Whatever shall we do? All right, this is going to be like last ditch. You know, throw everything at me. Yep, here come all of the units. <laughs> We're gonna kill every one of his civilians. Okay, rats are not a problem. We already have a silo, and I don't think we have the ability to benefit from more than one silo. Uh, we will start decolonizing again as soon as all of these units are dead. As long as they have anything living in the tile, we are not, uh, not getting our decolonized. Now, see, the smart play here would be to uh, to really take advantage of that by having um, having your units massed up near the border and just running them in one at a time. Because as long as we're not actively decolonizing, they're pushing toward victory, right? But I think we are going to just barely pull this off. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do about red and blue. This particularly causes a problem in regards to red, because um, all of a sudden red's going to have a ton of territory nearby. But one problem at a time. Let's fix this first. Oh good, 150 military XP. <laughs> Believe for me. We're actually positive on food through the winter, remarkably. I'm gonna have some people come over here. How far are we from? Uh, we're pretty. We're still pretty far from a knowledge victory. But you know, like we should, <laughs> we should be considering it. Cause an actual military victory is a, uh, is a long, long, difficult thing. Right, let's let the healers heal us up, and then we gotta start making plans about red. This tile is under-defended and only has a basic tower. Oh, you know what we need is a uh, scout. We can't actually see red or blue's uh, town hall, which means we can't kill them. You just can't enter a tile that your scouts haven't seen. And I just realized what time it is. We're not going to finish this game in two episodes, I think. All right, blue is still pretty far off of the fame thing. If we can just make Red's life miserable, uh, blue can probably be left alone for the moment. Let's grab another fighter. 
And another axe thrower. And another shield bearer. Oh, we don't quite have the money for another shield bearer. Shield bearers are expensive. You can get another warrior, or we can just like wait 10 seconds. Okay, the rats are going to show up, people are going to get sick, our healers are going to be working a little bit of overtime, so we probably should be a little wary of stressing them at the moment. Torvalds is trading me food. Well, that's going to come to an end. Alright. And Blue just decolonized this area over here. So this is a moment of weakness for Red. Probably Red just lost a big fight with Blue. This is a good time for us to be charging. Okay, rotate out the injured and sick shield bearer. We're probably going to have to kill Blue off this tile in a second, but <laughs> one thing at a time. Because I don't want Blue building a tower right on our border. Let's get this decolonized first, while Red is looking weak. Ah, that's annoying. He's got the wolves and stuff right there. Uh, I wanna, I wanna finish the decolonization. Okay. Absolutely not with this. Uh, you know what? He's got a lot of units right there. And we're not actually in that great of a great of health. We did kill the builder. So my hope is that he's just not going to remember to have another person come over and start building the tower. I want to stand back for a minute here until our uh, until our units are healed up. Also, that tower is not at full health and it probably should be. Why can I not repair my tower? Hmm. That's weird. When I mouse over it, I just get a... Oh, this is skirmisher damage. They have that skirmisher upgrade. Yeah, that's... That's a problem. That's like an actual real issue. Hmm. Oh, and it looks like Red wants some... Oh, no, Red just wants to kill that skirmisher. Fine by me. Red wants to colonize this area. Less fine by me, but actually, let's let them do it and then take it back. Let's. I don't. I don't want to interrupt them. Oh, the skirmisher's going to interrupt it. No, he's not. I'm going to kill him. Ah. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah. If you want to fight when you have massively inferior numbers, this is like exactly what we want. Okay, Red. If you want to colonize that, what we want is for Red to colonize this and then for us to break it afterward, because that way they have to spend all the food. Uh, if the colonization is broken, you get your food refunded. Man, how far back is their... home tile? Okay. There we go. Let them have them, let them have it, then take it back is so much more damaging. And Blue did just lose some military units fighting over here, but he's still got enough to defend that tower, probably. At least, enough to think about defending that tower. Red is looking soft right now. We might be able to pull this off. I think what happened is Red fought Yellow. That's why Yellow pulled their army away from the zone where we entered. And then because red and yellow were both weakened, blue fought red as we were fighting yellow. And uh, we're just taking advantage of the gap here. Oh, geez, we need a house. Some somebody come over here and build this house. Somehow we are still gaining population. Oh, man, my scout needs to figure out where the hell the red capital is. I don't think we should push any further forward into all this stuff. We're gonna have to fall back and fight Spectral Warriors in a second here. But you know what? I hate to do this, but I just don't think I have time to finish this game this episode. So we're going to, uh, in an unheard of move, extend a game of Northgard into a third 
a third episode. It will definitely end before the hour next time, so we'll just start a new game uh, right in there. But that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I guess between the horse and the dragon clan, I think those are the only two ones we have le uh, left to see. Let me know in the comments which one you would rather see after we wrap this thing up. And come back next time to see exactly how we wrest victory from what looked very much like the claws of defeat. And we'll see you then.